At the raised surface step, you can create surfaces that will form the outer geometry of the occlusal splint. When designing a stabilization splint with flat planes on the posterior areas, a good tool to start with is the raised to antagonist cusp tips. Use the selector by holding the left mouse button down and dragging the cursor over posterior teeth areas in two sections. The follow cusp tip radius in this case is set between 8 to 12 millimeters to keep the surface flat. A preview of the splint geometry with given values appears after each change. In case you prefer to have stronger indentations to mark the contact points, you can use a lower value. However, this will result in more manual sculpting in later steps. To establish anterior guidance with immediate posterior disclusion, an appropriate volume of material can be generated in the anterior region of the splint. One way of doing this is to use the raise ramp selector for the remaining anterior area, from K9 to K9. The ramp angle setting allows you to change how slanted the splint surface will be in comparison to the occlusal plane. In this case, we needed to use a ramp angle of 30 degrees to build up more volume for the interior ramp. Please be aware that if you find the raise ramp functionality does not produce the desired geometry for your case, it is possible to use the raise to antagonist plane tool which will enable you to set an antagonist plane position that the surface of the splint will then meet. You can also choose to leave areas unselected, which will result in a generic offset from the scanned surface in the previously defined splint thickness. When satisfied with your design, you can move further on. 